Welcome to Newgate. Uh, sorry I've not had a film out for quite a while but uh, we've been extremely busy during lockdown so first of all I'd like to thank all the customers for the support during lockdown. You've helped us keep going and growing uh, so thanks for that. Um, anybody who obviously what we've done is we've had to produce a website, we've done click and collect and then we've opened up with social distancing on the nursery. Okay. So anybody who feels like they may have been let down, didn't get the right plant or um, had to wait too long for delivery or didn't get an email back, take my apologies because obviously we're only humans and we're doing the best we can. Um, anybody got a serious problem, please come in and see me now we're open and we'll make it right for you because it really does matter to us. Uh, this video is literally just about screening uh, and specimen plants. So it's only a quick one, but basically, um, as you can see, we just have a delivery in from Italy. Um, a lot of people these days are struggling with being overlooked by a lot of houses going up. So a lot of the, a lot of people now are looking for things like pleached hedging. So pleached hedging usually comes with a two meter trunk, as you can see, and then a frame. The frame can be any size you want. Uh, this one's about five foot by 1.2 meters. Uh, the species here is hornbeam. This makes a lovely pleach. Um, we've got some uh, pictures on our website as well of, of some established ones that customers have bought. Now, price wise on these, um, you can basically pay as much or as little as you want, depending on the maturity of the plant. So, I'll, I'll show you a real bargain that we have at the moment. So, this is a Carpinus pleached with a two meter stem, slightly younger as you can see on the frame, but it will soon grow. Uh, these are from a nursery in Belgium, and these will only cost uh, $189.99. Okay, now that seems a lot, but the normal price for a good established pleach like this is about 400. Okay, so it's nearly less than half price. This more established one from Italy, with a bigger head and a thicker girth trunk, is about 425 quid. All right, so that's the difference. Um, all these are available to order now. You take a couple of weeks to get in. But you plant those two meters apart along your fence line and you'll have an instant screen. If you want an evergreen screen, we can look over here to the Magnolia grandiflora, which is a stunning plant. Big, bold, evergreen foliage. Again, about a two metre trunk, and then a lovely head. This evergreen foliage stays all year round, obviously. Then you get a lovely big white magnolia flower with a heavy scent to it. So this is a real stunning feature plant. These aren't, again, aren't cheap. They're a lot of work and a lot of age to them. These are about 485, including the VAT. Alright, if you want to pay a little bit less and you want evergreen on the pleach, then come over this way. We've got some Virginia Red Robin, just down here. This gets bright red leaves through the season. So the red flush, it's probably had two red flushes already. The first red flush is gone, but as you can see it's a lovely thick evergreen screen. Again a two metre trunk, um, and the price is under £300 on these. Okay, so this is a really nice option for you. So these are all the pleached hedging that's available at the moment. There's lots of other species available, but these are these are good solid performers. Um, other things you could use obviously for screening, bamboos, take this way. So bamboos, as long as you keep them fenced in and use your rhizome barrier, they won't cause you any problems. A lot of people hate bamboos for the simple fact that they've planted them badly. Uh, and that they've spread with the rhizomes. These are underground stems and these will end up popping up all over your garden. So what you need to do is you put the rhizome barrier in that protects the stem. It stops, basically a rhizome barrier is a polished plastic um, and these rhizomes will go, travel under the ground, they'll hit the polished plastic and unlike any other material, they can't grip it. Uh, and that way they can't get through the plastic. Anything else, in the old days I used to use lino before we knew of the machine polished plastic and eventually it gripped the matte finish of the lino and got through, but it doesn't with this, this, this rhizome barrier. So these bamboos, you can see about, can we give, get a picture of these? These were about four and a half meters in height. So instant sort of four and a half to five meter block, and they'll cost you about, roughly about a hundred pounds. So that's a really good, good value for money. You can also take the Fatinia Red Robin and grow it as a tree. These are all wrapped up, but these have lovely big heads on them. All right. 
And if your budget doesn't stretch to this sort of size, for example, laurels here that are two and a half meters tall, again, they're about, um, off the top of my head, they, they work out about 150 pound each. If you can't stretch to that, then we grow a vast range of our own hedging. And we've got laurels from sort of two to three foot tall, right up to this sort of size, it's six foot. All these will be on the web shop, okay, available to buy. And if you buy a few, you get a discount. This Portuguese laurel here, again, we have that in about three sizes. It's a beautiful plant. It's evergreen. It's got a smaller leaf than the rotunda folia. It's a lovely white flower. It's quite slow growing, so it keeps its shape. It's easier to look after. So these are really good ideas for if you want to get some evergreen screening in your garden. And now's the time because you've still got a good sort of four or five months growing season. Right, just over here to show you a few more things that came in on this Italian row. Continue Red Robin, established. This is a nice compact version. Um, so it's a smaller leaf than the normal Petunia, um, and it will keep a nice tight shape. Again, a good screening plant. The normal Red Robin, about six, six foot tall, maybe seven. Okay, so again, instantly above your fence panel straight away, and these aren't overly expensive. Then, if you want some nice specimen plants, olives, which are quite hard to get hold of at the moment. Okay, and this is a lovely plant here. This is an evergreen conifer, it goes bronze in the winter, and it's called Cryptomeria globosa nana, and that's on a stem grafted. So a lot of work gone into that, it's a real art. That'll make a lovely big head, and a real feature plant in a pot or two either side of the door. Over this way, we have some beautiful topiary. So the Italians are specialists in, in topiary. The, this is Cupressus macrocarpa goldcrest. We have these in different sizes. This is a good seven foot spiral. Just needs trimming once or twice in the season. Again, a real good entrance plant for your doorways. You can have cloud trees. Now cloud trees come in different sizes. This is a mini one, or we can go for a bigger one here. Again, they'll just give you that tropical specimen feel. This is a nice one as well. This is called Blue Jeans. It's called, uh, it's a Capressus lolandii Blue Jeans. Very tough, very wind tolerant. And again, lovely spiral. So all these sort of things available. We've also, just before I finish, we've got some evergreen palms, lots of these. Again, quite an age to these. So these are fully hardy. Bring a little bit of, you can't go on holiday this year, so bring a bit of Spain to the garden. Um, you don't need to wrap them up. And things like these, um, we've got shamarocks, which will do a similar thing, yuccas and hardy bananas, all these sort of things you can sort of create like a jungle feel to your garden, make you feel like you're on holiday. All right. Finally, one of the Italian specialist plants is Trachospernum. This is an evergreen vine. Leaves go red in the uh, in the winter, green during the summer. Gets a jasmine flower. I can zoom in on that one. Very heavily scented, um, and in Italy, it grows really quickly. So we can get buying direct from Italy. We can get these a lot cheaper. When we grow them, we grow them to about sort of three foot. It takes us about three years. So. This probably has taken about a year and a half in Italy. So that's the difference. So these are all, I think this one's about 19 pounds and these are about 29.99. All right, so if you need anything evergreen, anything big, as well as all the other plants that we grow, then get down to Newgate. See you soon.